We are joined now by Wichita State student athletes Ron Baker and Fred Van Vliet, along with head coach Greg Marshall. Coach Marshall, would you please begin by making an opening statement? Um, well, first, uh, it's been quite a week. You know, this time last Sunday, we gathered around and we're wondering if we were going to be invited and involved with this tournament. And, um, you know, we find out that real early that we are and we're going to head to Dayton. So the next morning we take a flight on Tuesday and play Wednesday against a very talented Vanderbilt team. And we win. And we, we fly in here. We got to our hotel at 5.20 a.m. on uh, – I guess Thursday morning, we slept most of the day, went into the early afternoon and started preparing for, uh, you know, obviously, a, a very talented and well-coached Arizona team. Played really well. Um, got done it a little after midnight that night, and here we are on Saturday. Uh, is it Saturday? Saturday. And just thank these guys to my right, you know, all five seniors, um, for allowing us to ride their coattails. Uh, they've taken us on the, I, I term it a, a magic carpet ride for the last five years for Evan and Ron and four years for Fred. Uh, what they've done for this program, this university, the, the state of Kansas and college basketball has been, it's been incredible and um, really appreciate um, um, how they've handled everything, uh, how they've dealt with adversity, like t this this past week, and and then uh, the early in the year. I mean, we had to overcome injuries galore. Never seen a player paralyzed. Never had an All-American try to fight through what Fred was fighting through. But they did, and they did it with with dignity and class, and um, they're. Tremendous professionals on and off the court. They're just they're pros. They they handle their business like pros, and I, um, I'm deeply indebted to them as we all are. And unfortunately, we're a little short today, but it doesn't take anything away from what they've done for for all of us. And I, and I thank them publicly. Thank you, Coach. We'll now open it up to questions for the student athletes only. Uh, please identify yourself and your media organization and direct questions towards individual student athletes. Questions for the student athletes. We'll go right up in front. Paul Sontrop, Wichita Eagle. Uh, Fred, first 10 minutes, Miami's defense kind of really got you guys off course. Uh, what, what were they doing that gave you problems? Uh, I mean, well, to start the game, uh, Rodriguez pretty much just kicked my butt and uh, outplayed me. Um, to start the game gave him a really good start and they were making everything early so anytime you can't get stops it just takes your rhythm um, completely you know for the offensive end and then they're making shots so they're ultra aggressive and it's just a not not a good combination some of what you saw us doing the second half to them they were able to do that early and it starts with me and uh, got to give him a lot of credit you know he set the tone early um, and got it got it going so uh, they got out and disrupt our timing and our rhythm a little bit for some un, uh, uncharacteristic turnovers and uh, it just fueled them so uh, we fought back but uh, you dig yourself a hole that deep it's, it's kind of hard to get out of more questions for the student athletes in front Bob Lutz Wichita Eagle for both seniors just describe the feeling of the careers now being over and when if that's even started to sink in yet Ron, would you uh, start off? A couple years ago, uh, I told Fred that we would uh, be back in the Final Four after we lost to Louisville walking down the tunnel. And I wasn't able to keep that promise to him, and we weren't able to get back. And that goes to show how hard this tournament really is and how, how well you have to play. As not only as an individual, but as a group of five. And the feeling right now is it's not fun. Uh, I feel disappointed. I feel like I disappointed my teammates. 
my family. Uh, I know that they've had a lot of fun through the years from our success, uh, so that kind of mute, kind of levels things out. But it's always nice to make a deeper run in this tournament, and the more wins you get, the funner it is. And unfortunately, uh, our rides come to an end in this tournament and in our careers. I mean, it hasn't really sank in for me yet. It just it's surreal. Uh, I just want to go back and watch the film and break it down and get ready for our next team that we're playing. Uh, so for it to be over, uh, it probably takes a while to get used to. Um, like Ryan said, we've, we've been through so much together. And uh, that's, the, that's the only thing keeping my spirit up right now is just uh, the type of teammates we got, the, the family atmosphere that we have. And, it's it's all good when it's all good, um, and when you lose, you gotta wear it. Uh, so uh, it's tough right now, but I, I just want to thank everybody uh, that I've ever played with in my four years, and all the coaches, and especially Shocker Nation. Talk about these crazy people traveling all the way out here to Rhode Island just to support us. Uh, can't thank them enough. Um, just disappointed we weren't able to get it done. And disappointed in myself, uh, but the, like I said, the good thing about it is we did it together. We fought back together. Uh, we had each other's backs throughout the whole experience, and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, so it's been a hell of a ride. Um, you know, all good things got to come to an end at some point, unless you know, we were able to cut down the nets in Houston this year. I probably still would have cried the same just because it was over. You know, I just. We all sitting at this table came back for a reason this year, and uh, I feel the same way today that I felt last year. Uh, I'm not looking forward in my future to anything else. Just want to appreciate these guys and our fans and the program. Shocker Nation is real. So thank you. Questions for the student athletes? Do we have a question over here? Jake Fisher, Sports Illustrated. Freddie said uh, Angel Rodriguez got the best of you in the beginning. How hard was it he to defend in the early going from, from your perspective? Can you just take us inside that one-on-one -on -one matchup? I mean, he's, he's really quick. I mean, he's a great player. We talked about this yesterday, too. Uh, I think we played better in the first game than they did against Buffalo, so we were getting a lot of attention. But I said it yesterday. I mean, both anytime you got great players matching up, it's about who plays the best. And he obviously played much better than I did. So I uh, got to tip the cap to him. Um, but anytime you got a guy that quick off the bounce, if there's no rim protection there, it's going to be a long night for anybody trying to guard him. So early on, he got some easy looks. And you give a great player a start like that, it's going to be a long night for you. And, uh, I've been there on the other end where, I mean, it seems like everything's coming easy and it just propels you. Uh, so I definitely know what was in his mind. You know, he was just in, in attack mode the whole time. So, you know, I'm taking full responsibility for that. Uh, but give him credit. It wasn't it wasn't like we just gave him anything. You know, he went and took it. So credit to those guys. Uh, they better not lose next week. Questions for the student athletes right here. Jim Donaldson, Providence Journal. Uh, Ron, you guys get down early, and yet there was absolutely no quit in you. What does it say about yourself, your teammates, to be able to battle back? You're playing your third game and five nights in your second city. Uh, it would have been easy to kind of pack it in, and you guys just kept fighting and really put on a great show. Yeah, throughout my career here, the, the word quits never sank, sank in well with our vocabulary. Our guys fight fight till the end. I've been in a lot of, not very many occasions when we're down 21, uh, but we still fought back. Uh, early on in the year, we were down similar to Iowa, and we ended up cutting it to single-digit lead. This team and group of guys just have a lot of fight in them, and that just goes to show how well they're coached and how their character is. Time for one more question. Paul in front. Paul Saldrop, Wichita Eagle. Ron, what, what got you back in it then, and how much did the zone defense seem to, seem to really help? Our change of defenses on makes and misses, I think, got us back in the game, uh, trying to throw their rhythm, rhythm off offensively. They started missing some shots, and we were able to get some rebounds. And we executed fairly well in the second half to draw the lead down and take the lead. And 
uh, we started making shots, and I thought we we had some uh, breaks here and there that didn't go our way. The ball bounced in the wrong direction. And that's just how the game goes uh, down the stretch, and they were able to hit shots towards the end there that were tough, and you got to make those shots to advance in this tournament. Okay, thank you. We'll now dismiss the student athletes back to the locker room. We will now open up to questions for Coach Marshall, right in front. Greg, Bob Lutz uh, from the Wichita Eagle. It's obvious that everybody up there is emotional. What was uh, going through your mind as you listened to those guys speak? Just how much they mean to me. Uh, they mean to all of us. You know, they've been They've been unbelievable ambassadors for uh, our program and our university and our city. Uh, they do, as, as I mentioned in my opening statement, they do everything, uh, everything well, not just play basketball. I mean, they're just they're really nice gentlemen, nice young men. and. Uh, be the last time I sit on a podium with them, probably. You know, unless I coach them in the NBA one day, uh, I hope that they get that opportunity. Uh, they're just um, they're class guys. They're class guys, and, I, and, I, and I'm very deeply indebted and appreciative of, of everything that they've done for the last five years. Questions in the back. Bill Koch with the Providence Journal. Uh, Coach, when they get off to such a good start, they're making shots from the field. I can't imagine that happens you know, ever to your defense. Uh, what's going through your mind there on the bench in terms of adjustments that you need to make and, and how to keep the guys in it? Well, uh, you know, they're, they're a very talented and well-coached team, and um, they scored too easily early. Uh, they, they made everything. They looked really fresh and, and uh, bouncy, and shots were going in for them. And they were taking us out of rhythm on, on the other end with their quality defense. Uh, Angel Rodriguez was just – he was he was a man possessed. He really played well today. Everything he shot seemed to go in. He's 9 for 11. He makes circus shots at the end of the a shot clock uh, to really put the final nail in our coffin. But – um, you know, we just needed to we needed to get some stops. So, and we weren't doing great. So we we changed up defenses, and that kind of gave us a uh, a better um, ability to defend them. And and then um, we got going, and finally um, took the lead. You know, I, I thought, wow, we we may we may actually come back and win this game, and never doubted that it was possible with these guys, but. Uh, then I think they threw in a half-court lob. Uh, they lobbed it and dunked it. And then we had the layup. I think it was Kelly. I don't know what happened, but he lost the ball. And then they hit a three. So uh, we went down four. And then the last deal was, was the Rodriguez jump shot off the glass at the, at the, at the buzzer, you know. So sh guys showed a lot of fight, a lot of determination. There's no quit in them or – or anyone in this organization for that matter. And, um, you know, just really proud of them, proud of those guys in the locker room for handling uh, the whole season the way they have because it has not been easy with all the – we've been through a lot of adversity uh, with injuries and whatnot. So to get this opportunity to play in this tournament, uh, today the better team won. And I uh, want to congratulate them again. And, and uh, hopefully they can go far in the tournament. And, uh, I'm very, very familiar with their staff, and a lot of those guys are, are friends of mine, so I appreciate uh, their hard work and efforts. Questions for Coach? Anything else? Oh, Paul? Paul Solentrop, Wichita Eagle. Yeah, Greg, the crazy schedule, the fatigue, you see that playing any role in that first 10 minutes or so? I don't know. I mean, I don't know how you could be fatigued in the first 10 minutes and not in the last 30. I, 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 I don't know. I, I know that it hit me about 
yesterday. Yesterday was the first time I really felt tired uh, of the whole thing. Um, I don't know when's the last time I stayed up till 5:20 in the morning. It was probably senior year of college, and um, we weren't taking a red eye. That's for sure. We may have had red eyes at the end, but we weren't taking a red eye. 